Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 25th day of April. Severe weather not that far away. It looks like a major threat for much of the southern U.S. in coming days, especially Wednesday, but tomorrow could be active as well. We'll check some of the Skycam shots this afternoon. That's the uh, Birmingham Skycam, the sky partly sunny. Temperatures are mostly in the low 80s. Very similar sky coming from Tuscaloosa, from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And why not peek at the Gulf Coast, the Alabama Gulf Coast there from Gulf Shores, the sky cam on top of the Phoenix, all suites overlooking the public beach. Hey, before you know it, summer will be here. And I know our friends down there anxious for the tourists to come back after that uh, disaster last year with the oil spill. Here's a water vapor satellite shot. You can just see waves of storms in advance of that digging trough down through Texas and Again, that uh, is slowly progressive, which means we will deal with storms uh, not too far away, not too far from now. But for the moment, things are quiet. Temperatures are around 80, low 80s in most spots. The warm spots down to the south, Montgomery and Alex City at 84, Birmingham and Anniston 80, Tuscaloosa 82. Closest severe weather to us is here in parts of West Tennessee. That's the radar coming from Memphis a little before 2 o'clock, and there was a tornado warning up around Humboldt and Trenton, Tennessee. Uh, those storms are moving away from uh, Nashville, and, and those will weaken with time as they get away from the main upper support. Uh, we'll check the uh, instability values across the Deep South. You can see the air is unstable right now. We, we've got uh, uh, surface-based Cape values of uh, 2,000 joules near Meridian, Mississippi, and up to about Montgomery, and uh, 1,500 joule capes up to Nashville. But we're capped off. Uh, you know, all of the active weather is still to the west, but uh, that's just kind of a powder keg, if you will, waiting for something to ignite it. Uh, there's the uh, STP, the significant tornado parameter, and the numbers are maxed out way, way to the west over uh, Texas and Oklahoma, closer to the upper trough. So, again, we don't expect any issues here this evening for sure. The uh, closest watch this afternoon is this one for parts of North Mississippi and Western Tennessee, that's a severe thunderstorm watch until 3. And again, that stuff should weaken. The, the big action is out here. That's a, a tornado watch until 6 o'clock this evening from near Stephenville, Texas to Fort Smith, Arkansas. That includes Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, Sherman Denison, Ardmore, McAllister, and Texarkana. We'll uh, peek at the uh, convective outlook. This is the rest of today and tonight. There is a moderate risk of severe weather from Northeastern Texas to near Memphis, that includes Shreveport, Little Rock, El Dorado, and Greenville, Mississippi. Surrounding that, a slight risk from almost Indianapolis uh, down to a point west of Houston. Tomorrow, the risk slowly moves east, a moderate risk just clipping the northwestern corner of Alabama. Uh, it runs from near Shreveport up to uh, Memphis and Muscle Shoals. Uh, that includes places like Little Rock. Memphis, Greenville, Mississippi, Monroe, Louisiana. And surrounding that, a slight risk running all the way from eastern Texas to the Great Lakes. And on day three, we think this could be our big day, a uh, uh, moderate risk already. It's very rare to see moderate risks up on day three, but they've got that thing up already for much of north and central Alabama through Tennessee and parts of eastern Kentucky. And look at the probabilities. You know the deal, that means there's almost a 50-50 chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point. And uh, again, that is very significant. As everything seems to be coming together, we hope. It looks bad, but nothing happens. But you know, something will. It's just a matter of when and who gets it. And again, a lot of the specific questions we just can't answer now. And of course, the rain is excessively heavy, especially north and west of here. This is the next uh, five days of rain. Keep in mind, a lot of folks up in here have already had half a foot over the last five days, and this is suggesting eight more inches near Memphis. And in Alabama, the numbers taper off greatly. You, you go up to the shoals, and that's suggesting maybe some five-inch amounts, and then you go down to Mobile with not much. But I think most of us can expect two to four inches of rain. Uh, tomorrow and Wednesday with these big storms. So we, we have just every threat's on the board. Heavy rain, flash flooding. Uh, the Weather Service in Huntsville has their counties already under a flash flood watch. But let's take a look. This is modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, the global forecast system, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And again, energy is still coming down the back of the trough. We got one chunk lifting northeast up toward uh, 
Minneapolis, St. Paul, that the lead surface low with that feature is uh, just southeast of Minneapolis, 992 millibars. And clearly, there could be some active convection tomorrow, strong, maybe severe storms. Uh, we got a slight risk here, and uh, uh, we'll have to watch those. And uh, we could see some storms producing very heavy amounts of rain, hail, gusty winds, and maybe even a tornado, not out of the question. The new surface low is forming near Dalhart, Texas. And then Wednesday, this should be the big day. Very strong energy coming through the base of the trough. is beginning to go slightly negative tilt, increasing the diffluence here. And down below that, the surface low is north of Memphis. Very favorable position for severe weather. And again, you can. this is at 1 o'clock. And really, much of the morning, we should be dry with that cap. And at some point, the cap should break in the afternoon. And that's when the storms could go tornadic. And again, we could see some long track uh, tornadoes, possibly. This is the forecast sounding, and I know for a lot of you this is a bunch of gobbledygook, but look at those storm relative winds over there on the left. You talk about veering of the wind with altitude, and that's in relationship to the storms. And it's a classic uh, loaded gun sounding. I mean, it doesn't get much more classic than that. Uh, there's a cap there, and we think that cap will break if we hit uh, low to mid-80s. Wind fields are strong at the surface and aloft. The, the, the indices are, are very impressive. The uh, lifted index is minus 4.2. Uh, potential for supercells, 77.5%. The uh, storm relative helicity values at one kilometer, almost 400. Uh, again, I won't read all those off. You can see those, but uh, uh, everything seems to be on the board. And look at the photograph. I mean, everything seems to be in place for what could be a major severe weather outbreak Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. Uh, these are the instability values. Uh, this is uh, Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, the higher instability axis coming through West Alabama. Helicity values are just right for rotating updrafts and tornadic type storms. And look at the energy helicity index, almost off the chart. So we will wait and watch and hope we get through unscathed, but uh, certainly watches and warnings are very likely Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. And you know the deal, just be in a position to hear them. No need to be alarmed or panicked about this. This is spring in Alabama. This kind of stuff happens, but uh, everything is in place for this to be a potential red letter day. But the good news, Thursday, we're dry-slotted. Uh, big trough forms over the east. And look at that air coming down in here Thursday. That's going to feel good. High only in the low 70s, a nice north breeze. And uh, Friday, just gorgeous. We could be in the upper 40s at daybreak, the high, uh, mid to upper 70s. So Thursday and Friday will be just beautiful. What about the weekend? There's Saturday. We stay dry. Uh, we'll probably be up in the low and mid-80s, new cold front to the west. And then Sunday... The, we've got a stacked upper low north of way north of here. I mean, north of the Canadian border, really. And uh, down below that, you can see from that deep surface low approaching uh, James Bay, you got a cold front coming in here. So Sunday, we'll mention a chance of showers and storms. Severe weather, probably not a big threat if this is right. And then the problem is the front stalls out on Monday as it becomes parallel to the upper airflow. So the rain could linger into Monday and there might be a heavy rain threat in there. We'll see. Into the forecast, May 11th. Ooh, getting close to summer. Uh, pretty strong shortwave north of here, and that's got a deep surface low near Cleveland with a trailing front. And keep in mind, May is still tornado season. March, April, May, that's our three-month spring season. And don't forget the fall season, November, December. Really dull moments in the weather office around here in these parts. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.